Hi guys, Peter here and today we're going to talk about dealing with stress, anxiety and depression. Okay, okay so as a life coach you can be sure that the people I deal with who come to see me in for executive coaching and life coaching one of the main issues that people are dealing with is stress, anxiety and depression. A great proportion of people are coming to see me to do that, which is why I'm here making this video to tell you a little bit of behind the scenes secrets of how I deal with those t people and to give you some hints to maybe help yourself or help your friends if you are dealing with that issue. Now, the thing about depression is I find that it's useful to sort of categorize it into four categories and I'm going to go through those categories one by one and just chunk it down a little bit to give you more tailored ways to look at different views about your depression and those are in the, the videos below. But before I do maybe I'll just give you an, a brief overview that Depression, anxiety, or stress are all belief related. In the end of the day, it's all about the way we look at life. And so there are people out there that are, you know, poor, have nothing, and yet they're happy and not depressed at all with life. And yet there are also, conversely, people who are rich and famous who are depressed. So it's got nothing to do with where you are in life, it's really um, the, the beliefs. And so it's about changing your views. And in all of these next four videos that we're going to look at, the overriding thing is to look at that belief and change it into a more positive one. And you'll find that there's a commonality in that our traditional view of uh, having a successful life is to, da to do with accumulation of stuff out there. So it's to do with accumulation of reputation, you know, things, money, uh, knowledge, relationships. And if we get too caught up in uh, sort of counting our life by the number of things we have or the number of people we know, then that is the recipe for depression because it's a never-ending cycle. And the big shift is to be able to shift away from that belief system to start to see success in life as based on your own personal growth and so how you are able to deal with the situations in your life, the type of relationships that you have irrespective of how many you have and the amount of enjoyment you get out of the things you do have. So you'll see that's a commonality through four of them. But in any case, let's start chunking them down one by one and get to some more specific ways of changing the way we see things to counteract some of the things that cause us our depression, our stress and our anxiety.